hello everyone tap with the hair excuse my voice I wasn't feeling too good but this is a dollar tree haul slash rant about this rude customer or rude cashier we experienced the last time we were at dollar tree so i'm going to show the stuff i found and then we're going to get into the cashier about the cashier so the first thing i found is this a 72 count of the laser stickers so i'm going to use this for my calendar as well as some friend mail I'm trying to get back into friend mail so yeah very girly it's got some dresses on here heels little cute little compact purses all that good stuff 72 of them good deal for these I found some more of the coloring books the adult coloring books and mind you guys these are originally like $3.95 I saw these at I think Target for like $12.99 so and this is the creative awakenings coloring book so it's got some it's got a little bit of everything in here it's got animals it's got flowers it's got uh, some buildings in here, some underwater life, just some plain geometrical type of stuff. So it's got a little bit of everything in this book. And I really like this one. This is the Exotic Expressions Eastern Expired Fabric Designs to Color. That's what Please excuse the background noise. The kids just got it from school and it seems like I can never record a video without them screaming and yelling in the background. It's got some cute designs very intricate details in here as you guys can see I did get some gel pens because I was on the Dollar Tree uh, Facebook page and they did say that they use these to color the adult coloring books and it kind of comes out a little better someone actually uploaded a couple of pictures and I really liked how they looked with the gel pens so I decided to get some gel pens so I got the four pack in the Jot brand and it comes in these colors orange red purple and yellow it's got some cute little designs on the handles here and then I found some different color gel pens so that's blue pink green and purple so I'm gonna be looking out for more of these in different some different variations of colors next find I have been looking for forever I've pretty much read all of her books this is Mary B Morrison and this is originally a $24 book find at the Dollar Tree. This is the internal engagement. Basically a guy who did her too much. You hush. Basically a guy that's doing too much. Two faced. So yeah. Got this book. Okay, this next find is actually new. This is by the Benzac Acne Solutions. And this is skin balancing foam cleanser here. And this is a pretty a decent sized bottle too. Six fluid ounces. It says with calming and soothing East Indian sandalwood oil. And it comes with this particular set has a couple of steps. So this is the first step which is to cleanse. And I found the part two or the step number two which is to treat. This is the intensive spot treatment. And it's with calming and soothing East Indian sandalwood oil. The actual, how big the actual container is. So it's kind of like if you have a pimple, then you can, you know, spot treat, put it in uh, certain areas. And I saw, again, on the Dollar Tree Facebook page, there is a step three. But when I went to the Dollar Tree, I only found, you know, just the one or two. So I just got one of each. This one doesn't expire until September 2016. And this one doesn't expire until October 2016. So I know we've all, you guys all have been finding these. This is the Jaliba. I hope I'm saying that right. This is the three pack of K-Cups. And this is in the mild 100% Arabica coffee. So yeah. Three of these in a pack is a pretty good deal. Because even if you get like a 12 pack or a 24 pack, that's like $10.99 at Target easily. And this is the one I've really been looking for. The McCafe ones, I've always wanted to try theirs. And this is in medium, medium uh, roast. And it says for use in all carrot K-Cup brewers. And then this is a three pack as well. So I'm really happy that I found these. The do Excuse me, my local Dollar Tree. I, I got the last one. So if I would have saw more of these, I would have got more of these. But yeah. next thing I found, this is the liquid coffee creamer in the flavor cinnamon roll. And I happen to have needed some more coffee creamer. So I'm hoping that this is good. 
it one serving size is one teaspoon which and 35 calories in uh, one serving so yeah hoping that this is good if you guys have tried this before please leave your comments in the comment section let me know what you guys thought about it and this is something new as well this is cafe al fresco gourmet syrups and this is in hazelnut so this is a new find for me as well and they actually have vanilla too so I'm definitely going to give this a try in the morning and see how I like this. It says add a splash to desserts, tea, espresso, coffee, soft drinks, and smoothies. So it's not really just for, uh, for coffee. It's for other things as well. So it says add a half an ounce to one ounce of syrup to your favorite beverage and enjoy. It's sugar free. So yeah. Well, that is everything that I found at the Dollar Tree. Now we're going to get into this quick rant about this cashier. We were out running errands one day and we happened to pass the Dollar Tree and I was like, hey, let me go into this Dollar Tree. My husband Bear was like, uh, no. He was like, you're going to be in there forever. I'm like, no, I'm going to be just, you know, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. He's like, okay, I'm going to time you. Let's see if you can do this in and out the store in 10 minutes. I'm like, okay. So mind you guys, he has a vlog channel. You guys don't know. It's in the description bar. If you guys want to check out his channel. But he was vlogging in the store. So before I even continue, I'm going to insert this quick clip that he recorded on his phone. Now, we are in Dollar Tree. And I actually put a timer on my wife. And keep in mind, keep in mind this. This is the big, big picture here. I didn't start the timer until two minutes we were in the store. So the time is currently going. And I guarantee you we'll be in here for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we still have to add the two minutes in there. I'm not. You see this? That's me. I'm talking. I'm blogging. I can do that. Thank you. Have a good day. And... This is uh, what I what I do. There's controversy. <laughs> the lady had a little controversy, but she can kiss my. I ain't gonna go there. Okay, so when this happened, I was in another aisle, and he came in the aisle that I was in. And he was like, "Did you hear what the lady just said to me?" I'm like, "Who?" What's, he was like, "The lady. She she told me I couldn't vlog in here," and I'm like. And you guys, we live in a, a day and age where people record everything on their phones. People vlog anywhere, everywhere. It's just kind of like one of those things. And I've never been in a place of business or a store where they said, you cannot have a camera in here. You cannot record on here, in here. It just, you know. So, mind you, that clip, I didn't even know he said that literally till we, till we got home and he showed it to me. So, and I thought he handled it pretty well because we went up to the register and she was our cashier and I didn't even he didn't say anything I didn't know that because I would have said something so I just thought that that was really I was like first of all he had the camera on selfie mode meaning the camera is facing towards him and he's talking into the the camera so how is he recording and mind you guys but when she had at that time when she came up to him we were in the store roughly about two minutes two three minutes and he probably went down two aisles i was the one trying to hurry up and hit because remember he's timing me so i'm trying to hit all my main aisles before the 10 minutes before the 10 minutes runs out so for her to say oh why are you recording the store first of all i'm not recording the store <laughs> i'm vlogging and she just turned away and walked away so when i saw the video i told him you handled that well because I would have said something to her because that was just rude and disrespectful. You guys do not know at the bottom of your receipt, Dollar Tree feedback. I will, and and you can do, basically when you do this, you can enter it to win a daily prize of $1,000 or a weekly prize of $1,500. I always do this just in case, you never know. But this is a experience where you can share if you had a situation happen at the Dollar Tree, so her her name is on the receipt, so I will be 
I will be doing that and letting them know because that was just rude because like I said we're in a day and age now where everybody records and everything and even if he was recording the store what is it to you like people vlog in the Dollar Tree and they like even myself I was gonna act that in this store I was actually gonna vlog that day but I was like no I, I changed my mind I just, I just wanted to share that because I thought that that was just rude and disrespectful and on so many levels like if I want to record this whole store, I'll record it. Like, what is it to you? I'm not recording you. I'm not recording the customers. I'm recording myself and my family. Like, and the thing is, is he always records. He records pretty much every time we go into Dollar Tree. So, because he vlogs. So, so those are the goodies I found this week. Thanks, guys, so much for, for watching. If you guys have had any experiences at the Dollar Tree with a cashier that just thought they were just a little bit too high for their bridges, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check you guys out in the next one. Bye.